thank you. Hello, Edinburgh. Hello, welcome to Edinburgh Comedy Fest Live. Fantastic. It's lovely to be here. Been a year since I've been here. I, uh, not much has changed. My hair's longer. I'm increasingly getting mistaken for a woman. <laughs> From behind, obviously. <laughs> From behind. I've been offered a drink. I have stood at the bar like that. <laughs> Can I trouble you for a drink? <laughs> You'll have a Cronenberg, please, mate. Nice one. It's only friendly in here. We'll come back here. <laughs> I have to take it easy. I binge drink. That's my problem. I, I binge drink. I, I, you know, I, I've ended up in some horrible states, you know, being sick, sick in the toilet. Can't make it to bed after being sick in the toilet. <laughs> you know that state you're there? <laughs> Hugging the toilet, thinking, I'm so comfortable. <laughs> Why don't they advertise this on DFS adverts? <laughs> I've never been so comfortable lying there. <sighs> Mat as a duvet. <laughs> it's not covering the feet, so you grab the toilet mat. <laughs> What's that mat for? It's just there to absorb male urine. <laughs> Need to find where to put your head, that's very important. Normally, I can't sleep with less than three pillows. I can't sleep on a train. I can't sleep on a plane. Now I'm hugging a toilet. That dark bit behind the bowl that's never properly been cleaned looks lovely. <laughs> Oh, I could lie here forever. <laughs> then your friends try and look after you. And they... Well, it depends what gender you are. Ladies, girls, you look after one another. You're more caring, more considerate. I've, I've seen it at house parties. Girl starts being sick. You storm in there. Like it's a military operation. <laughs> you just, you're right, babes, you're right, babes. You're right, babes, just get your hair out your face. Get your hair out your face. <laughs> Well, you're getting your hair out of your face. No, 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 you look gorgeous, babes. You look beautiful, you look beautiful, you look beautiful. No, you look beautiful, you look stunning, babes. You look so gorgeous. Don't worry about it. We're going to get you some water. Do you want some water? We'll get you some water. Go get us some water quickly. Go get us some water. Go, yeah, go get some water. Yeah. She'll be right when she said some water. You got, you got your water coming. Where's your bag? Where's your beer? You don't know where you're We'll find your bag. Where's your bag? <laughs> find your bag quickly. Go find it. You got your bag coming. Very, very protective, aren't you? Guys aren't allowed to see what's happening. The guy walks past, looks through the toilet door. What's going on here? Nothing! Off! Go on, nothing! <laughs> nothing to be seen here, nothing! Go on, off! No one's laughing at you, babes. No one's laughing at you. <laughs> no one's laughing at you. No, no, you look gorgeous. We've got your water coming. What's that? Egg cup? <laughs> What's that gonna do? That can rehydrate a mouse. Look at that! <laughs> We've got a nice big egg cup of water. There you go. <laughs> Get that down, you. Don't worry about him. He's an arsehole. <laughs> Don't worry about him. We're gonna get you home and get you changed. Changing each other in bed. See this? <laughs> Men aren't as caring and considerate. You see a bloke, good friend of yours, being sick in the toilet. The most you'll do is look at him and go, you're right, mate. <laughs> it doesn't matter what his reaction is there. You'll turn to your other friend and say, film it. <laughs> I do like a drink. I've been good this week. I've, I've been behaved. I wanted to sort my life out. You know, you have that, you have a good week. Gonna, this week, I'm going to sort my life out. <laughs> this week, I'm going to stay and sort out my life. All this really means is, I'm going to clean my bedroom. <laughs> I don't know what I do. Well, I, I get back. Sometimes I get back late at night, drunk. I think this time, this time I'm going to get up. Do you know that? This time, this time I'm going to escape the hangover. I'm going to set the alarm on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. No, I've got this sorted, it's all right. No, I know, I know last time I didn't get up, but last time I didn't have a glass of water, did I? 
this, this time I'm gonna, I'm gonna set the alarm on my phone and I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not gonna get into bed with it. No, no, no. No, this is the clever bit. Mm. I'm gonna put the phone the other side of the room. <laughs> Deal with that morning, me. Because <laughs> then when I wake up, I'll have to get out of bed and I'll have to walk all of two and a half metres. <laughs> and by that time, I'm going to be so awake. This has never happened, has it? <laughs> no one's got out of bed. It's gone, oh, God. Ready for the day! Let's go! Covers the croissants for everyone. <laughs> I press the snooze button. It's the first thing I do, snooze button, straight away. Nine minutes. No, who came up with nine minutes? <laughs> who thought this was the perfect snooze? Ten minutes. No, that's a lie in. <laughs> Eight, that's not enough. Nine, the perfect snooze. Why do we do this? This nine minutes. Has anyone ever felt better after the nine minutes? Someone going into work, hey guys, I'm in a good mood today. I've had an extra nine minutes sleep. Ah! <laughs> All I do after the nine minutes is press it again. The longest I press the snooze button is four hours. <laughs> There's not proper sleep, is it? You don't go back to sleep in that nine minutes. No, you basically just lie in your own bed having a panic attack. It's gonna go off any second now, I can feel it, it's gonna go off, I know it's gonna go off, I can feel it, it's gonna go off any second now, I know it's gonna go off. Sometimes you even check, you've got two minutes left, two minutes left, I know it's gonna go off, I can do it, I know it's gonna go off. These alarms don't work, do they? The smoke alarm, the smoke alarm overdoes it, doesn't it? <laughs> For some toast, really? <laughs> the panic that ensues after the smoke alarm's gone off, it's too much. People lose their minds. Quickly, open the window! Open the window! Quickly, quickly, open the door! Open the door! Start trying to physically push out smoke. You look insane. Come on, come on. Quickly, quickly. Grab tea towel. Where's tea towel? Have you got tea towel? Where's tea towel? What is it with the tea towel? Who's ever seen the fire brigade turn up? We got this. 